today learning a 16th note pattern on your hi-hat with the bass drum and the snare drum working together to kind of fill out the rest of this beat. We're going to start with our right hand and the left hand. Now whatever hand you're dominant in, that's the one you start with first. We're going to break it down by four beats. The first beat is going to be right, left, right, left. I'll do that again. It's that simple. Once you put those in succession with 12 other beats, you get a full measure of 16th notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, the key here is to put your bass drum on beat number 1, and then your snare drum on the next beat number 1, going in line of 16th notes. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll show you that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice that your bass drum and your snare drum are working together and alternating on each beat 1 of the 16th note groove. We're only playing 4 16th notes here, and it goes like this. And then we're going to add another 4 16th notes. My right hand is going to come down and hit the snare drum on beat number 1 of that 16th note pattern. And then immediately my left and right hand starts playing back on the hi-hat. Here's those eight sixteenth notes together. Again. Now I have a lot of students come and play this rhythm. They play it slow, they play it fast, and they really struggle sometimes with making sure your right and your left hand, they aren't choppy. You want this as smooth as possible. Here's an example of smoothness that we're going for. Notice that my right hand and left hand are working together. One is not jumping the next beat. One is not falling behind the beat that I just played. They are evenly paced. I'll play that one more time at a very generous speed. Then I'll speed it up and show you what it sounds like fast. Here you go. And now let's speed it up some. Once you get it down at that speed, I suggest trying going even faster. With the metronome that you're working with, see how fast you can go and still make it as smooth as possible. That's the goal here, smoothness. Now, that last rhythm right there takes a long time to get that fast and to get it nice and smooth. I started exactly where you're starting at a very generous speed, making sure I'm not getting ahead of myself, and making sure that my hands are working together. You don't want your left hand to be fighting your right hand on this rhythm. Make them work together. Thanks for tuning in this week. If you don't mind, hit that bell to be notified when we put out another drum video. If you love these videos and you keep wanting more, please come see me at Stokes Music Studios here in Greer, South Carolina. We teach one-on-one -on -one lessons, not just drum lessons, but guitar, voice, piano, ukulele, and bass. I do one-on-one -on -one individual lessons, really making sure that you're playing the rhythms right and giving you guidance along the way. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing.